These are the tools required to do this job. Not too bad. 3 8 drive ratchet, quarter inch drive ratchet, a 10 millimeter wrench, flathead screwdriver, an extension for the 3 8 ratchet, an 18 millimeter socket, and a 10 millimeter socket. Here's a look at all the pieces required for the job. You can see we have the trailer hitch here with a two inch uh, receiver. Uh, we have six bolts. It does come with a little cap to protect the hitch when there's nothing in it. And since this is a factory hitch, we're gonna need to replace this trim panel uh, because from the factory, well, you can't really get it from the factory. They're all dealer installed. The hitch is gonna be right here. If you were to install an aftermarket hitch, it would hang down a little lower. And I thought about going that route um, but I was a little bit concerned about ground clearance. It probably won't be an issue, uh, but I, I wanted to go with the factory look this time. So it looks like it's going to be fairly simple. If you did an aftermarket hitch, like I said, it's going to look pretty much identical. The install is going to be the same, but you aren't going to have to mess with this trim piece. So let's get to work. The first part of the process to install any, any hitch on the MDX is to remove the spare tire. So we're gonna lift up this little flap, we're gonna pull out this little rubber grommet, and there's the, uh, the square piece there. You have to turn that to lower the square tire. So the tools to do that are in here, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently because sometimes these tools can be a real bear to get in and out. So I'm gonna show you a different technique to lower the tire without using the factory tools. So if you have a half inch drive extension, it'll fit right over this. And then you could use a 16 millimeter socket that fits over this end and just use your ratchet to lower it like this. Easy peasy. All right, now the spare tire is on the ground. Now you, of course, can do this job on the ground with jack stands and everything. Um, but since I have a lift, I'm just gonna go ahead slide that tire completely out of the way and I'm going to put it up on the hoist to finish the install. Now that the spare tire is out of your way you can get a better idea of what we're actually working with. You can see there's three holes on each side of the frame rail here so that's where the six bolts are going to go. Now since this is a brand new car uh, these holes and threads are nice and clean. If your vehicle is a little bit older you could get a wire brush run it up through there with some penetrating oil and clean it out. And then, like I said, since this is a factory hitch, we're gonna have to remove this trim piece, which is probably gonna be the hardest part of the whole job uh, to get the hitch installed. We're gonna do that first. We're gonna start by removing these little tabs first. They just pop out with a screwdriver. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be reusing these so you don't wanna break them. Next, we're gonna remove these 10 millimeter bolts here and here. And then we're gonna try to figure out how to get to these ones up here. Probably you have to use an open end wrench for those, those two. So yes, 10 millimeter wrench uh, fits in there no problem. I have a gear wrench, but you know, if you have a regular wrench, it's just gonna take you a, a few more seconds. Not a big deal. Once you have the four bolts and two uh, push pins removed, next you have to pop it out of these clips. So, you grab it from here and push on it, and it, it, it unclipped uh, actually pretty easy. So we're just going to pop it the rest of the way out, and then we'll install the new panel. Easier than I thought. And here is what it looks like with the panel removed. Now that literally took five minutes. I, I thought it was actually going to be a lot harder, so I'm happy about that. Now, I guess you wouldn't necessarily have to uh, replace that panel with the new one. It is an added expense, but it does give it a more finished look. So here's those tabs I was talking about. It just it pulled out of there no problem. Uh, so here's a look at the old one versus the new one. You can see it has the cutout for the hitch. You are going to have to transfer uh, these nut clips onto the new one. You just pop those out with a small flathead screwdriver and just slide them over, you know, onto the new one. But we're going to install the hitch uh, first before we install the trim panel. So this, this thing's somewhat heavy, the hitch here. So it's a little bit cumbersome to try to do this by yourself. If you had the car on the ground and you could lay the hitch on your lap, it actually might be easier. So I used this uh, pole jack here and I just started, uh, you know, two bolts in there 
just to get it started. I'm not going to tighten anything down yet until I get all the bolts um, secured and then we're going to go ahead and torque them down. You can see where you know the hitch will be up higher uh, than you know below the bumper if it were the, the aftermarket style. Not sure if you could tell but these holes are kind of slotted so there is some side to side and back and forth movement so I'm just gonna snug them down lightly and then we're going to install a trim piece uh, just to make sure that this is centered um, in, in the cutout here uh, you know, to make it look as appealing as possible. These bolts are 18 millimeter. So now that we got the balance installed, uh, it's pretty easy. You can just pull out on, on the bumper cover itself, flex it, and uh, stick that back up in there. But you can see it's pretty much centered uh, with the body line. So then we can go ahead and uh, tighten up our 18 millimeter bolts all the way, and uh, we're pretty much done. All right, we got all six 18 millimeter bolts tightened up. We got the push pins back in. We got the four bolts. Uh, the hardest part of this job is probably these top bolts up here, but there's a lot of flex in, in the bumper so you can flex it down uh, to loosen them and tighten them. You know, we got them on this side. Got these all tightened up. So I'm really pleased with how this came out. You know, it's got the nice factory look. Now, we're not gonna do any wiring today. Uh, so there's a cover here, you can install the, uh, you've got the factory wiring harness, there's a cutout here for it. That would require you to take the bumper completely off to install the wiring. Um, I'm just going to probably use this mostly for a bike rack. And they also sell a transmission cooler. So right now, the MDX without the transmission cooler is rated to tow 3,500 pounds with the cooler up to 5,000 then, you know, of course we would need the wiring harness uh, to tow a trailer. Uh, but like I said, I'm gonna just mainly use it for a bike rack um, or, or a motorcycle hitch rack. You know, not get too crazy towing right now. But who knows, that may change. We might do another video of pulling the whole bumper, installing the harness and the transmission cooler. But for now, I think it looks great. And that was probably one of the easiest trailer hitches I've ever installed. The last step is, of course, installing the spare tire. As you can see, it clears the tire no problem. Um, I don't know if you can get an MDX with a full-size spare, uh, but this will not cover it. You, you cannot have a full-size spare with any hitch. So I don't, I don't even think it comes with one. But like I said, here's that cutout um, for the power plug, and here's a little door for it uh, if we decide to go that route. So it basically tells you here what the tow ratings are, like I said earlier, 3,500 pounds or up to 5,000 with the cooler. And it says a tongue weight of 350 pounds, which is pretty good. So that's what she looks like. All right, so here's a look at it completely installed. I put the little cap in there too. Looks good. It's got the little loops for the chains. If you are trailer, uh, towing a trailer, um, as you can see, it does not protrude too terribly far outside the bumper which is nice gives it that nice factory look there is one thing i failed to mention when i had it up in the air if you have the kick feature for the hatch it comes with a relocation kit for that sensor so that might be a little more difficult and if you're going to do the wiring uh for the lights you know then you're gonna have to remove the entire bumper and if you want to do the 5,000 pound uh, max trailer towing you are gonna have to install the transmission cooler like I said we may do that in a future video so that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for checking out my channel please subscribe if you haven't already make sure you follow me on Facebook and Instagram and have a great day